walk. You've been there, I've been there. It's a creative's worst nightmare. Staring at a daunting white computer screen, unable to fill it with black typography. Oh, I'm usually able to stare at it for 15 minutes, but around minute 27, I begin to panic. My routine for when this happens is to put on my sneakers, jump on the treadmill, and hope for a nirvana moment. It works. Well, sometimes. When that doesn't cut it, my last resource is the shower. Shower, Epiphany Fairy, are you there? Why haven't you returned my calls? Were you abducted by aliens? Did you change your walkie-talkie frequency? Were you robbed and lost my number? Where are you? I mean, really, an artist with no ideas? A Friday Video Time CEO with no stand-up material? It's not funny. It's not funny, Shower Epiphany Fairy. Not, not funny. If by the time I'm rinsing off my conditioner, I still have no light bulb moments. I know it's downhill from there. I go on a research binge. I go on the interwebs and start clicking away, downloading, going on every tangent I can find. It's like a research marathon. When I'm submerged in it, I feel like a champion. I can swear to myself that I'm being the most productive ever. But we all know that when I arrive at that finish line, and I'm reading Kim Kardashian articles and rearranging my Pinterest boards for the fourth time, I know I've wasted 13 hours doing nothing. I mean, can you relate? If so, it's time for a sucker punch. I know I am. This is one of those cases of do what I say, not what I do, because this advice that I'm about to give is as much applicable to you as it is to moi. When blogging, vlogging, and writing burnout strikes, I have five strategies to uppercut that stop right in the mm, shit. Oh. Ow! Tip number one, write your experience. Stop theorizing, stop analyzing, stop vomiting statistics, stop reporting. I mean, I know it's cool to teach, but for change, why not share your stories? You are an expert in how you feel. You are the top authority figure of your experience and you need no diploma to disclose all of that information. Now, in regards to this point, if you are Siamese twins to your computer, you'll have no interesting experience to share. So my advice to you is to go out, Climb a tree, find a new hobby, do the impossible, do something amazing. Do, just go out and then come back and tell me about it. Tip number two, write totally nonsensical things for 15 minutes, friends. Don't ask me why, but our brain is able to translate silly rambles into sensical things that matter. Just give it a try. Tip number three, make outrageous connections. What does Frank and Barry have to do with social media? What does Mario Brothers have to do with blogging? Can you tie Kung Fu Panda to the core theme of your blog? Can you? Think about it. I think it would be really interesting. Tip number four, establish a publishing schedule. We are creatures of habit like that. If you tell your brain it needs to create on Thursdays because you need that information by Friday, believe me, that information will be on your desk by Friday 8 a.m. sharp. Our creative genius works with that adrenaline. It, it's an adrenaline junkie, I'm telling you. And it stops procrastinating when it knows it cannot disappoint you. And finally, tip number five, write a rebel sequel. For hallelujah's sake, go out there and find out what people are talking about and give me the complete opposing view. I have to give 100% credit to this one, to my high school debate teacher. Look, it's super easy to tell me why using Twitter is an awesome tool to promote my business, but can you actually tell me why Twitter is the devil? Or, I, I mean, it's super easy to say why blogging is an awesome thing to do if you want to skyrocket your sales, but can you actually tell me how blogging could be hindering my business? I know I'm interested to know why I shouldn't hire a virtual assistant, or why the ebook is a dead cause, or if the donate button is making a comeback. 
play with these topics even if you don't end up publishing them because you end up not believing in what you wrote it's a good thing to get those creative juices flowing so was this helpful do you think i've given the shower epiphany fairy some competition you guys i mean this is awesome all right all right what if i add to the mix a little play sheet so you can download and really make this Saturday video time. So, um, that's, that's, that's a wrap. May the 4th, I mean, I mean, goodbye. You want to join the mailing list? You want to leave a comment? You want to share this on Twitter? <laughs> <laughs>